There's yttrium, ytterbium, actinium, rubidium, aboran, gadolinium, niobium, iridium, and strontium, and silicon, and silver, and samarium, and bismuth, bromine, lithium, beryllium, and barium. Welcome to one of the past HC exam question videos. In this video, we'll cover this question, which comes from the electrochemistry chapter. In a second, I'll read the actual question. Once I've read the question, you get about five seconds to try to pause the video. Once you've paused the video, attempt the question. And when you're ready, just press play and I'll go over the actual answer step by step. So I'll read the actual question. You have studied one of the cells shown below. So this one and this one. Choose one of the cells and answer parts A and B. And then A is state one environmental impact associated with the cells you have chosen. That's worth one mark. And B is describe the chemistry of the cell you have chosen. And that's worth three marks. And these pictures are not exactly the same pictures, but they show the exactly the same battery. So these types of batteries are the ones you studied. One of them, and you have to choose one. All right, so I'll give you five seconds to pause the video. All right, so I'm back. So in this case, these two batteries, one of them is the dry cell, which remember the dry cell is just the AA batteries or the AAA batteries, which are these ones. And the other one was the lead acid cell. Now you were asked to choose one of them in the still the stop point, which is why you only have to choose one. You don't have to know both of them, so you only have to choose one. So in this case, in this video, I talk about the dry cell. So A asks state one environmental impact associated with the use of you've chosen the use of this dry cell you've chosen or this cell you've chosen, which is dry cell. So one environmental impact. So what I wrote is the dry cell has a minor impact on the environment if it is properly disposed of. So it has a minor impact and especially if it's properly disposed of. And what I mean by that is it's put into the garbage as it should be. Uh, and then now here's a possible problem it could have. The zinc from the zinc anode could potentially, that word potentially means that it might, it doesn't have to, could potentially leach, which means it goes into the environment, leach into the environment and cause problems for surrounding vegetations. Vegetations are, are plants. So it could cause problems for plants if it leaches into the environment. But this rarely is rarely a problem if it is disposed of correctly. So as long as we throw it away correctly, this will not happen. So overall, it's a minor impact on the environment. If you mention that, you will get one mark for that because you have named one of the one of the impacts, which is a minor impact, and the only problem could be that zinc. The next part is to describe the chemistry of a cell you've chosen. So remember, for chemistry, there's a couple of parts. You should always mention the voltage. You should mention the anode cathode and the electrolyte and if you have time it's really good to always give you equations as well so the equations are your anode and equations at your cathode if you write all that you get your three marks so the dry cell the dry cell has a graphite rod cathode that's surrounded by this is supposed to be ammonium four chloride and manganese dioxide, so O2 and NH4. So the cell dry cell has a graphite rod because it's surrounded by the ammonium chloride and manganese dioxide paste. The inner casing is the zinc anode. So now we have mentioned the cathode. So the cathode is a graphite rod which is surrounded by manganese. The electrolyte is NH4Cl. And the inner casing, which is the cathode, is zinc, the zinc anode. So now I mentioned the cathode, the zinc anode, and the electrolyte. And what you can do for these kind of questions is always good if you can also draw that diagram of the dry uh, button cell and just label them. So I will definitely get your mark, if not two marks. Uh, but if you have time, you know, just include those equations as well. So the zinc anode, what happens to the zinc anode is zinc becomes oxidized to form zinc 2 plus and also loses those two electrons because it's become oxidized. And the graphite cathode, we have the manganized dioxide, which will gain those two electrons here to become diamanganized ditrioxide. And the rest is just there as well. But these are the important parts. Yeah, so yeah, you just write your equations for your zinc and your cathode, so your anode and cathode, and it will also get you a mark. And remember the voltage part as well. Dry cell produces voltage of around 1.5 volts. So here we've completely described the chemistry of the one you've chosen, which in this case is the dry cell. If you've chosen lead acid cell, do the same thing, just with the lead acid cell. And that would be 
one, two, three marks out of here, three out of three, and one for this first part, which is worth one mark. So overall, that would be four marks out of four. And you, where this has come from, this question, this, this dot point here, gather information, present on structure and compare. So we have to have either the dry cell or lead acid cell, which is why it gives us a choice. We can choose one of the one of the dry cell or lead acid cell. And this says compared to one of the following, but this is actually, in this question, it's not asking us to compare it. It's not asking us to look at the cost or practicality, the impact on society and, and the environmental impact. All it's asking us to do is this part, the terms of the chemistry. So we have to compare, the, we looked at the chemistry for the dry cell. It's actually probably the one of the easier ones for this dot point. And it questions the next question, question five for the lecture chemistry chapter, covers a seven mark question, which is all of this together. But this one is just four out of four, and all you have to do is choose one, which is in this case the dry cell, and go for the chemistry. And oh yeah, and the environmental impact as well. So I hope that was useful. Thank you for watching.